Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the DNP Wireless Connect module and a DNP 620 printer in order to air print from your salsa booth. First, let's go over what a DNP Wireless Connect module is. Think of this as a mini computer. It's going to turn any of your DNP printers into an air print compatible printer so that you can actually print directly from your salsa booth without any wires. When your Wireless Connect module arrives, you're going to find that in the box you have a dongle, a power cable, a printer cable, and a mini power cable. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plug your Wireless Connect module directly into a wall plug. And then you're going to want to connect the printer cable from the back of your DMP620 to the back of the Wireless Connect module. The DMP Wireless Connect module is compatible with a variety of DNP printers. However, we recommend that you use the 620. It's a versatile printer that offers a lot of different print sizes. Next, you're gonna to want to plug in your DMP620 directly into the wall. One thing to note is when you do plug in your Wireless Connect module, the lights will flicker only at the beginning and it is normal for them to actually turn off. Make sure to give your Wireless Connect module a few minutes to boot up its internal system. When you are setting up your printer just like this, you want to make sure that your printer is less than six feet away from the iPad that you are going to be setting it up to. This is because the Wireless Connect module's internal internet has a very limited reach, so you want to stay within those six feet when you're setting up. We're now ready to head to the photo booth and start setting it up on the iPad. First thing to do is to open your settings app on your iPad and navigate to the Wi-Fi settings and find the DNP dongle's private network. Connect to this network using the password found on the bottom of your dongle. You'll only need to use this password once, it will remember it for any time moving forward. If for whatever reason you can't seem to connect, please make sure that you have allowed private network settings. In order to do this, navigate to your Wi-Fi, hit the I button, go down to private address and make sure that it is toggled to on. Once enabled, you may have to rejoin the network. Close your settings and navigate to Safari on your iPad. Type in the IP address 192.168.4.1. The first time you log in, it will ask you to type in your password and to register your device. Simply follow the prompts on the screen and hit OK when you're done. Here's a pro tip. Create a desktop shortcut so you don't need to remember this IP address every time you're at an event. Simply click on the share icon and hit add to home screen. Now let's add a printer. Navigate to the add button. Here you'll be presented with a list of available printers. Select the printer that you'd like, then hit continue. You will be asked if you want to customize the name of your printer, but we suggest leaving it as is. Your printer has now been added to your iPad and is ready to receive prints. Now let's select the paper size you want. Whatever you set here is what will print. From the dropdown, you can select any print size you like. The most common ones are four x six or six by two, two. These are the two by six strips that most people are used to doing. When you're done, hit save. Now let's connect the DMP Wireless Connect module to Wi-Fi so that you can also use email and text sharing in addition to printing. If you don't have Wi-Fi available, you can stay on the DMP network. Your booth will print instantly and queue emails and texts to send out once the booth is connected to an actual Wi-Fi network again. Click on the Wi-Fi square. Find your network in the list. If you don't see your network, you can manually enter it below. Add in your password and hit save. You should now see your IP address turn green to indicate that you are connected to Wi-Fi. Now we want to go back to the Wi-Fi settings in the iPad and connect to the same network. Both the booth and the printer must be on the same network. Now let's set up printing in the Salsa app. In the app, navigate to the event you are doing. Go to Configure Events, then click on AirPrint. Make sure you have enabled AirPrint. You'll want to select the default printer. Even if you see one there already, please make sure to always select the printer just to make sure. Once you see the printer showing up in the default printer, you're all set to go. Now let's test. Here are a few quick tips on how to make sure that your print event is super successful. When using the internal private network, 
that the DNP casts, make sure that your printer is less than six feet away from your photo booth. When using an external Wi-Fi, make sure that there is no sign on page. This is like at a hotel when you go to connect to their Wi-Fi and you have to register first. Unfortunately, that type of Wi-Fi network is not compatible with the DNP Wireless Connect module. Always make sure to reset your settings once you arrive to an event. Even though you may have tested a day or two before, it's important that you go through all of your settings just to make sure that they have been retained within your photo booth. If for whatever reason you're having problems printing through the Wi-Fi network, you can always revert back to the internal network provided by the DNP Wireless Connect module. Just please remember to make sure that your printer is less than six feet away from your booth. If you have any questions about the DNP Wireless Connect module or your DNP printer, please do reach out directly to DNP's support page. If you have any questions regarding the Salsa Booth app or your Salsa Booth, please reach out to support at photoboothsupplyco.com.